My name's Professor Hugh Possingham. I'm a professor of ecology and mathematics at the University of Queensland. Now we've learned a bit about how fish populations grow, let's see what happens when people catch those fish. There's many kinds of fisheries, particularly in tropical and subtropical systems where uh, many different species are being caught. For example, there is net fishing, there's line fishing, there's spear fishing, and also there's trap fishing, which can be one of the most dangerous kind of fishing because many, many fish get caught. In all these kinds of fisheries, there are different ways of measuring, measuring fishing effort. For example, in a line fishery, it might be the number of hooks that are set per hour. In a net fishery or a trawl fishery, it might be the number of days that boats are at sea. This effort is crucial in determining the sustainability of the fishery. Now initially we might think more effort means we catch more fish, and why isn't that good? So in the short term, more effort means more fish, great. However, these fish have to be replaced, and populations can only grow so fast. And as we've seen from the previous examples of population growth, the rate at which the fish population grows is maximised when the fishery, when the fish population is roughly half its carrying capacity. So the highest effort can be sustained if we keep the biomass of fish or the number of fish roughly half or a bit more than their carrying capacity. So let's have a look at this example of say some coal trout where the fishery started in 1955. Initially uh, the harvest goes up as the fishery starts, the biomass starts to drop down but still remains above half the carrying capacity, above half the population size. And the fishery is sustained at a high level with high levels of harvest. However, often we have overfishing. Many of the world's fish stocks are overfished. This occurs when there's too much effort. And under these circumstances, we overharvest the fish and the population goes below half its carrying capacity, so the growth rate is low. Let's again look at this fish population and you can see here as the fishery opens the harvest rate becomes very high initially and pushes the population well below half the carrying capacity. And after that the harvest rate remains much lower because the biomass never recovers to mo its most productive state which is half the carrying capacity. If the fishing effort is too great not only can we make the fishery unprofitable we can collapse it entirely. This often occurs when the harvesting method destroys habitat. Here's an example again of a fishery, but in this case, initially the catch rates are going up, the effort's going up, and the biomass is going down. However, instead of the harvesting and effort rates dropping, the harvest rates stay high for a very long period of time, the biomass continues to fall, and then we get what we call a complete fishery collapse. These fishery collapses are not uncommon and even when harvesting pressure is released, sometimes the fishery does not recover. This is the situation we desperately need to avoid. So clearly we need to catch fish to get protein and profit. However, we need to balance that fishing effort with the ability of the fishery to sustain itself, with the ability of the population to maintain its growth rate. If we put in too much effort, we push the density below half the carrying capacity and although the fishery may sustain itself for a long time, it won't be that profitable and it won't be as productive as it could be. In extreme examples, we push the fishery to a point where it completely collapses. The key is how do we keep the effort rates low when so many people want to catch fish? So in summary, uh, sustainable fisheries can if well managed, provide harvest for long periods of time. And in the next section, we'll try and work out how we can do that management. Fisheries can be sustainable, but not as productive as they could be if the harvest levels are too high, they're overfished. And in the worst case, fisheries can completely collapse.